guys want to see me give Go away a thousand dollars? I'm down. Yeah, watch this. All right, let's I'm go. Watching. Uh, that was a great smooth transition from shit and, uh, and want, animal porn I to I want to tell you what this. <clears throat> so how did you go about picking the winner? Just randomly, or they left a funny comment? He had a great a great story. He. I'm gonna read you the story. Yes, it is a man. Okay, I'm ready. Listen to this. You are the man, Adam. Me and my wife and kids had a house fire. We've been homeless for a year. We just got our apartment, and we're trying to get back on our feet just in time for the holidays. I'm a hardworking father and husband. I got blah, blah, blah. Uh, he's basically <laughs> just saying that, you know, I've had blah, house blah, blah. fire. Okay. And uh, that really kind of hit my heartstrings. I was just thinking about how bad it would be to have a house fire. So let's call this guy up and tell him. Especially we're right now. We're calling too. him. During the holiday season. Oh, I'm going to call him, him, which is kind of weird because he's going to have my number. But... Oh. <laughs> Whatever. Why don't you? I have. What if like, he doesn't answer? I have like fake like number apps. That That's smart. Use. Yeah. Why would you, why not would use you that? just call him with I your? I mean, what's number? he gonna do? I'm giving him for thousand bucks. Yeah, he I can't guess. do anything too I don't crazy. Know, call, right? call you for another. What if thousand? he doesn't answer? That's, That's gonna be weird. I told him to be ready. <laughs> oh, oh, he you knows. Talked to him. I, I messaged him on Facebook. Yeah, because for the record, this is the dude who. I want to see a picture of him. He's probably like taking care of his kid or something, and not. Also, he could be lying, but fuck it, I figured. I was thinking I'd that. What chance, if he completely you know? just made that up just to get a thousand dollars? Oh, oh. Hello, Edgar. Edgar. What's up, Adam? Yo, what's happening, G? What's up with y'all, man? Hey, where do you live at? Nowhere uh, now. Oh shit, Philadelphia. My Philadelphia. my my guy Lou. He uh he's from Philly too. Okay, yeah, A R Ed Lou. Yo, so so you really had a house fire? Yeah, really had a house fire, bro. Um, back in 2017, um, mm -hmm. 5344 Act, our apartment burnt down. Uh, we we stayed in our car for about a year. From there, we was in and out of hotels. Uh, then from there, I sent my wife to Colorado, but she just recently came back because, like I said, I was able to land a little job at McDonald's, which ain't much, but it was able to afford me to get us a little studio apartment. So, um, you know, just trying to get back on our feet, man. Damn, bro. Well, I got good news. You won the thousand bucks. Yay! That's what's up. <laughs> hey! Everybody show Edgar some love in the chat. Hey! My boy, Yay! Edgar! Yeah, I just I read the the comment. I really, you know. Yo, I've been following you for five years, man. That's crazy that you. I mean, that's shit. I would have never thought this would happen, bro. God damn, that's amazing, bro. Fuck yeah, man. Hey, I hope it helps, uh, especially during the holidays and everything. No guess, bro. How many How many kids you got, Edgar? Three. Damn. Damn. Oh man! Shout, shout out. Wow, amazing! Shout out to them, man. Yeah, tell them all Merry Christmas from the No Jumper Gang. No doubt, bro. I appreciate y'all. Y'all the best, bro. For sure. Yeah, uh, I'll just message you on Facebook after and uh, get your information for how to hook it up. All right, thanks, bro. I appreciate you, bro. Much love. Have a good one, man. Bye, Edgar. Shout out. Bye. What a guy. Shout what out my boy, Edgar, man. Shout out to Edgar. Shout out to him. He sounds like a very hardworking man. He did. He sounded like a hardworking dude. Hey, he's working at McDonald's. Hopefully, a thousand bucks means a lot. Can help him out with this whole uh, holiday sure. situation. Yeah. Hopefully, he can help Yuri out with some uh, McDoubles and, and stuff. You know? Was Yuri just eating McDouble? Is that how this went down? Yeah. Well, he's going to fly to Philadelphia, get some free McDouble. I feel like I feel like Yuri would make that mission Yuri to get to anything free. Yuri would be like, I'm going to Philadelphia. I heard I could get a really good <laughs> hookup on some McDonald's. <laughs> some free McDonald's. <laughs> I'll I don't know how so much McDonald's that it'll actually cover the cost of the flight. <laughs> He's like, I don't, I don't know how I'm gonna get there on the flight, but I'm just gonna, uh, I'm gonna stream, I'm gonna stream, and I'll just see if they'll pay for my ticket. Yeah, I'm gonna stream. Maybe somebody will donate forty bucks so I can get some more McDonald's. <laughs> maybe get some Burger King. I'll, I'll make a video <laughs> eating both of them, and I'll do a comparison. Yo, can I just say that we went from like twenty five thousand on Facebook to like fifty thousand, almost fifty thousand, maybe like forty eight. You think or something. from that video? Uh, I think just from me shouting out so much over the past week, so I do feel like it was probably a good investment of our thousand yeah. dollars, and we got to cheer Edgar up for yeah. the holiday. Shout out, Edgar. fucking Edgar, go man. Edgar. Go Edgar, and also go Edgar. Uh, the, go Edgar. the go Edgar. cam girl and house phone got holiday bonuses as well. I used that to buy a flight to Atlanta. Thank no, you. I didn't. And ketamine. You didn't. Whoa. You did. You just didn't know. Wow. I did. I did. Oh, I didn't know. Yay. Yeah. 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 I want to check. I want to even know how much. It would be a weird time for me to tell you no. It's not happening. 
I was going to say, like, what if everyone got it except me? That would be pretty funny. <laughs> and you were the one that was your idea. <laughs> that would be kind of weird. <laughs> that would be so fucked up. Just no, but thank you. Her. If I didn't, if you didn't give me that, I wouldn't have had extra money to go to Atlanta. So. Ah, thank you. Right? No? Okay. no, I'm just trying to push for details on this whole he's ketamine. Off the ketamine thing. He's on the I don't know up. where. Like, I walked in and he was like, How was your ketamine weekend? It's just like, Nigga, what? I don't know, man. I'm stressed out. I was just like, I did two podcasts <laughs> yesterday, two podcasts today, four podcasts. What does you being stressed out have to do with you? I, I, I got to take it out. I've had a ketamine different. weekend before, though. No, I'm, no, I've done ketamine one time in my whole life and it was on accident. I didn't want to do it. Ketamine was gross. It? I don't like it. Yeah. It was, yeah, it felt nasty. It, was it like, makes you feel like, like you're in like a. Not okay. Fun it playhouse. felt it felt like I was sitting in this chair right here, but I was, All the but way my body the was in your in yep. your office. Wow. And then when you're walking, you're like falling over, and weird. I was like, "This isn't really? fun." And then the people I did it with was like, "That's the fun part." I'm like, "I want to walk." I've done yeah. GHB, and that shit is fucking uh, intense. I did GHB with your ex girlfriend. Oh yeah, she yeah. Definitely, she's the one who got me to try it too. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah, it's a day rape drug. <laughs> but how, do you, how do you do I, it? Do you drink it? Yeah, it's like I like actually, in a bottle cap. I watched a video. I'll give you an example right now. <laughs> so say this yeah, water yeah, bottle was like all this. full of GHB, right? Right. What you want to do is you want to take a little bit. So it's fun to day rape yourself. Basically, yeah. But Yourself. when you if you give you don't it, do this to anybody else. If you they, give well, somebody the day rape drug, you give them like a, a pill that has a lot of it. I'm pretty sure. I versus don't know. like, like a if bottle you, cap doesn't do the what? Yeah, you take less than what you Very what scary. these dudes are given to random girls. That's so scary. Basically, so the, the way I was introduced to it, it was a water bottle full of it. It, it wasn't clear like a water bottle. It was like a okay. yellowish color. She, oh my god! What if it was piss? She filled she filled up the cap like so. Yeah, and it's you just, just take a, a tiniest little shot. amount. And it tastes really it bad. It tastes really bad and really weird. And after doing doing it maybe like once or twice, I was at the same house and I went to go take a, you know, swig of a water oh bottle. Oh my god. You did that too? No, no, but I didn't do it. I almost did it. Okay, so after that oh me and that girl god. stopped hanging out, I had this friend who he ended up at her crib and he did that exact thing except he took a huge swig oh of it and was just god. like what the fuck? Everybody starts freaking out. Yeah, like, he, he just took just... so much JHB and then he what ended happened? up fucking her and he blamed it on that. But what happened? Like what? I just, <laughs> he got super fucked up and was just like, I, yeah. I mean, I can't even imagine. He Do probably was like borderline passed out because I'm sure he <laughs> drank more in that moment than you would ever, you would ever give someone on purpose. Yeah, yeah. on purpose. Yeah, because I watched the video. Scary. I watched the documentary. And I think I think it just came out on Vice about it, and it's like dudes who keep a fucking can of it like at all times. Like that's, that's how disgusting. addicted they are to it that they're taking it all day. This is on oh, Vice. Oh, I thought too? you meant they're yeah. keeping it to give it to yeah, girls. To people. Oh no, no. The, dude, the dudes they were talking about on Vice are dudes who just do it. Like women just, too, who they just. Love it. Like they just do it all the fucking time. People do it with Molly and shit a lot because if you do it with like an upper, yeah, then you're like super like numb and like, weird. Hey. But then you're also up, I think. Yeah, Dude, I that's... saw some people doing it at hard. She saw people doing year. GHB at, at hard. The this person that I went with last oh, year. Oh god. And I was they were like, do you them. want some? I was like, no. Let's go with them next time. They sound fun. Mm. My G, my GHB friends. <laughs> my G, mm. my GHB friends. My STEMI hurt. Wait, wait. Speaking of uh, documentaries and shit, I, I watched that that Bikram, uh, the hot yoga. That was crazy, like, right? That was fucking Yo, that guy's insane. Wild, right? That, that speedo, it, yeah. and he's still doing it. He still has hella fans. In yeah. 2019, that's crazy. Anyway, thank you. That was like one of the. That was the, good, right? That was one you of the. Want to start a beat no, room yoga not at all. Studio? No, it made the exact opposite. It actually seemed like that guy was really good at his job and like really like this great force. He just ha he's also just like a rapist. He did, <laughs> like, <laughs> like you know. Besides, I think the power, just happens to be. A I think the power but just for got a to lot his head. Of it, it seemed like wow, this guy's really like doing good it was, things. It was beautiful at first, and then it turned really. Dark. I was watching it almost like having a hard time imagining what was going to be the reveal about him being a piece of shit because no. it seemed like he was changing so many people's lives with this but technique. He, he was, but I mean, but it came all out that all this shit was fake, and it was, I mean, not fake, but it was just all like. Yeah. He just stole the shit from somebody else and just regurgitated it. But that's what everybody else. That's what everybody does. He's though. sixty-five. That's why you can't have sixty-five-year-olds around. They all got weird shit in their closets, right? Yeah, man, that shit was weird, man. You, was, you have to go watch it, Kim. It was honestly really, yeah, really you guys fucking are good. Me want to watch it, but I don't agree old. on the sixty-five-year-old should not be on this earth. <laughs> what? <laughs> Apologies to my family. Um, <laughs> some of the people watching this. If you're sixty-five, drop a comment. If you're sixty-five and watching this, you need to go be doing something else with your time. That would be like, super strange. Learning how to knit or fucking like I don't know. My mom is amazing at knitting. Can we put the chat? Away? I believe she. Uh, she, she stay is. knitting. Oh, what, it freaks you out. 
I don't know. It's kind of distracting. Yeah, me. Yuri wants us to be consumed by the cool. chat to think about our all of our uh, insecurities. Our, our deepest insecurities. Kim's hat Stream. looks dumb, etc. Yeah, yeah, I like my hat. No, but they might have said fuzzy. something like yeah. that, and that would be really funny. I actually really no, like your No, your they fit. were like talking about stuff, and then I want to like chime in on it, but then you guys are talking about Beak Room, and then. Yeah. Right. Well, well, we we, we want to be. Did, did anyone else watch yeah, The Irishman? I'm the only one who watched The Irishman no, this week. I don't even know what the fuck that is. You don't? It's the it's fucking. A movie? Yeah, it's a, the, the. What's his name? Scorsese film that came out on Netflix. It's like um, three and a half hours. It's about no. fucking. Whatever. I'm not watching shit for three and a half hours. It's cool. No, it's some time. white people shit. Yeah, realistically. You know what I watched uh, before I went to Atlanta? I binge watched uh, season two of uh, End of the Fucking World. What's oh that? my god! It's really Great fucking good. Fucking what is series. that? It's on, t- uh, n- uh, it's on Netflix. Netflix. I was gonna say TV. Season one came out years ago though, and I was like, "What the fuck?" Like it's, it just... it's like a it's from the UK and it's like dark comedy. I like UK shit. Yeah, yeah they, they really have very like good. dry dark humor. UK shit's funny in it. Very <laughs> in it. Mike. Was that good? Did I do it good? No, that was no. terrible. I don't think so. No. That was terrible. You no, you should. Go. You might have done That's a good where job. they really be doing ketamine out there in the UK. Yeah, because the fucking coke is probably terrible. No, they do coke too. 